Uh, again, a little bit more to the right. Oh yeah, that's wow. a hit. <laughs> that's a hit. <laughs> Guys, as you can see, Defender Ammunition Company, uh, based here in North Carolina, has been supplying some ammunition for us to test out. And um, uh, it's working pretty good. So, Defender Ammunition Company, um, thank you very much. Uh, here we have the Rock River Arms uh, X Series 300 Blackout uh, rifle. We've shot it several times, and uh, we have uh, no issues with it when it comes to loading and cycling uh, with supersonic ammunition with the 300 blackout so everybody knows part of the interesting thing or the attract attractiveness of, of the 300 blackout is that you can actually load heavier grain 30 caliber bullets reduce the amount of powder and you come up with a subsonic round the first time that we tried it out we had some reloads that we had created over in our reloading table and the rifle functioned as a bolt gun instead of a semi -auto. Uh, the bull carrier group was not cycling back enough where it would pick up the second cartridge into the chamber. So we're testing out with uh, manufactured ammunition or remanufactured ammunition. In one of the cases we have, as you guys can see, uh, Defender Ammunition Company um, provided us with some supersonic and sub some subsonic ammunition. We'll be testing it out to see if our personal reloads that we made as subsonic did not contain enough, enough powder um, or if in fact um, some of the other manufacturers um, still have the same problem in the Rock River Arms uh, right. Yeah, No, no mag at all. So you just put that circle right on, on the middle of that. Um, I'm going to go top right there. That is a neat trigger. Yeah. I don't like the two stages. I mean, it's got a little hump you got to get over. It's almost like a false wall. Once you get to that solid wall, I mean, that is a wall right there. Yeah. You get past the hump to that wall and then... That's very different. Yeah, very different. All right. Well, in this case, you know, we're using Defender Ammunition Company's uh, subsonic uh, 220 grain um, 300 blackout uh, ammunition. And um, in fact, uh, the bolt is uh, pushing back and off, and we are able to cycle the gun without problems and um, utilizing it as a semi automatic gun, which is what it's manufactured to be. We're also going to try it out with a couple of other brands, um, but so far, um, everything that we've tested out from Defender Ammunition Company, besides the supersonic uh, 300 blackouts and the 300 subsonic uh, ammunition, uh, has been cycling pretty good. So, once again, guys, Defender Ammunition Company, thank you very much for for helping us out, so we can test out the different platforms that all the manufacturers send. So, thank you. Please subscribe to the GearReport.com YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and check out our website for full written reviews as well as deals and coupons on outdoor gear. You'll find us at gear-report.com.